what is up, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please make sure you go hit the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a comment, buy some merch, and then follow me on Twitter, follow me on in Instagram, Pinata, which I don't even have anymore, and all of that, all of that stuff, okay? No, but for real, subscribe. Alright guys, so today, I wanted to do a little sweet picking lesson. Um, now, uh, I'm going to cover the arpeggios in Sink or Swim. Uh, Old Fall in a Rough song from like 2011. Um, I thought this was a cool little lesson because it covers a, a couple of minor triad shapes. That are that really common shapes to know and for those of you that uh, are beginning sweeping or just getting into it, this is going to help you guys out. For some of you that don't know very many shapes. So we're basically going to be starting with uh, a D minor, oh well, technically C minor because I'm in mean, this guitar is in drop C right now. This song's in drop C, um, so we're going to be in C minor, but it looks like we're going to be playing D minor. Um, so C minor arpeggio, and then we're going to go to a different minor arpeggio shape and actually play what would normally be G minor, but we're in drop C, so and play an F minor arpeggio. All right, so I'm just going to run the piece for you real quick. <laughs> So there we have it. The first inversion shape, well, the first C minor shape we're going to do, we're going to go 12 to 17, A string. Then we're going to go 15, 14, 15, the next three strings. Now, I was totally, sorry, my guitar needs to be intonated. It's going to sound a little bit off here and there. I'm too lazy to intonate it, so you can just deal with it sounding out of tune. Um, it's up to you if you want to go middle, first, middle. A lot of people do that. For me personally, I like to go ring, middle, ring. No idea why, I just do. 13 high string, and then we're going to hammer on to 17. I know my numbers. So we have that. For those of you that want the Dragon Me is you solo, it's the same arpeggio. Um, I've got by doing the same thing over and over again a lot. Alright, so here we go. Then we're going to go into a three string shape. And the way I'm picking that for the, uh, for any of you that are new to sweep picking, down, hammer, down, 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 hammer. Down, hammer, down, 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 hammer. Then we're going to go pull. Then we're going to go up a three string shape, which is going to go 15, 14, 15, 13. So we've got. Let me just play up to speed something of the pattern. So the pattern is like all the way up, down a three string, all the way back up to the top, hammer pull, back down the shape again. Down to 17 with your pinky, and it kind of loops like that. So we've got like. So, so it's like this, it's like. Then that loops again. Two more. What, sorry, one more of them. Then we do a full arpeggio, all five strings. Then we end on the A string, and that's our first shape. Um, one thing I will say is when I'm doing these three string shapes, and even when I go into the A string, sometimes uh, when I'm let's just say I get up a three string shape. Instead of just going directly back with my pick on the B string, sometimes I might double pick it. So you might see me going uh, down, pull, up, up, and then I'm going to stay on 14 to go down, 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 and sweep down into it. Now I like to do this double picking stuff because it gives that real video game me um, kind of vibe, right? So it's like the Super Mario style thing when you get a mushroom. So I think from doing that kind of stuff for a long time, it helped me develop that double picking idea. Um, 
I really like that video game he sounds, so that's kind of why I double pick those, and it helps me see more control as well. Um, so, yeah, so one more time in that first section. Up to speed. What I say, the next arpeggio shape, exactly the same pattern is going to apply, exactly the same picking and everything. Um, except we're going to go down to this F major shape. So, uh, F minor shape, F minor. Um, it's going to sound like this. The only thing is, um, it's going to end there because we're going to do something a little bit different. So let me just run that through with you slow. 10, 13, A string. Pick down, hammer. You're going to use your ring finger on 12, 12 on the T middle strings. You want to do a roll with that. Um, if you have problems with rolling, um, don't avoid them. You know, that, I, I love rolls. I use them, I use them all the time. Um, just practice doing this if you want to get good at these, uh, the backing tracks. Uh, or a metronome or whatever, just go like 12, 12, and pick down, down, and then pick up, up, and do the double picking on the outside. So just like go down the fretboard, just start down here and go 3, 3, um, down, down, and then 3, 3, up, up. Just, just practice like this. Practice it to a metronome, you know. Right, it's going to help you um, clean up those rolls, and then you can start uh, adding in, you know, three things if you want. Sorry, three strings if you want. And just really work out that ring finger. And you get the idea. If you add to a metronome, get it really clean. Then when you go back to sweeping. It's going to feel a lot easier. It's all about making your weak point your strong point, right? So you got to hone in on uh, what you're having trouble with is usually the roll, okay? Um, okay, so when we get to the top, uh, so after the roll, so just to recap, 10, 13, 12, 12, middle finger, uh, 11, B string, first finger, 10, high string, um, we're going to hammer on to 15. Same pattern, right? Alright, and then on the last one we're going to go 10, 13, 12, 12, 11, 12. We're going to slide up to 21. Uh, 21 plus to 17. First finger on 17 B string. Middle finger 18 G string. Ring finger 19 D string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so hopefully that helps some of you. Um, and uh, one thing I will say, um, so obviously some very just traditional minor triad arpeggio shapes there. Um, for some of you advanced guys, you know, you've probably seen them a million times um, before. Uh, for, but for those of you that are beginning, sweet picking, really recommend, you know, just a cool fun little thing to get down. And if, if any of you are following, like that following me on here for whatever reverse fans, then kind of cool you get to learn that and, you know, go back and see exactly what was going on there. Okay, one thing I will say is once you get the second shape down, um, just for a little bit of theory background for you so you can map out the fretboard a little bit. Um, if you take the second position but start it from the 17th fret, then it's just a different inversion of that original C major arpeggio. Right, so what I mean by that is that these, both of these arpeggios just contain three notes, right? So that just contains a D, it contains an F, and it contains an A. D, F, A, right? D, F, A, that's all that's inside of that arpeggio. And if we start here, we're gonna go D, F, A. D, F, A, D, right? 
So it's just the same three notes over and over again, right? It sounds like it's crazy or really fast. It's just three notes. That's all it is, just like a couple of octaves, right? So here's your first inversion. Second inversion. Yes, I messed around with that. That was a fun. Um, thank you so much again. Um, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the not notification bell, and um, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And also, guys, if you if you enjoy these lessons and you're learning a lot, um, I actually have some video lesson packs that you can grab from the link in the description. Link in the description. Uh, go click on those links and um, check out some of the lessons on next. I've like I go for like an hour just in really in depth into certain techniques and um, give you guys some cool phrases and backing tracks to work with and, and just show you kind of how I work on stuff and how I think about stuff when I'm when I'm practicing. So so hopefully that stuff helps you guys out as well. Thank you so much. Peace out guys, get shredding.